finally make a statement in my last tournament as a black belt. And I'm super happy I was able to go out, get three submissions, um, and no points scored against me to do that. Yeah. And potentially finish the match with his arm triangle submission. This could be it. There's the tap. Rihanna St. Marie adds an IBJJF black belt Nogi world title. Um, but that was like, I didn't even, because of the striking in the fight, I actually was just like, I need to break this arm now <laughs> because I want this to be over. <laughs> if you were to catch a glimpse of her, you'd be instantly captivated by her magnetic presence. She exudes an air of confidence and allure, making her the epitome of an intriguing mystery waiting to unfold. Though she may appear to be a delicate beauty, don't be fooled by her gentle demeanor. This woman possesses an unyielding spirit, unafraid to venture into uncharted territories and push her limits to the extreme. So, who is this woman? Well, we're talking about the extraordinary 29-year-old martial arts prodigy who's been making waves in the BJJ world, Brianna St. Marie. When on the mat, Brianna transforms into an unstoppable force, defying expectations with her lightning-fast strikes and unparalleled agility. I have rolled with her personally, and her talent is very impressive. If you took her on in combat and were blindfolded, you'd not have the slightest clue that you're up against a girl. Brianna is phenomenal. Currently, she is the IBJJF Nogi Lightweight Champion. But how did she rise to such inviolable heights? Chapter 1. St. Marie's Early Days Brianna St. Marie was born on the 30th of August, 1996, in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. As a young child, Brianna played both rugby and soccer, but later decided to settle for rugby after a summer camp when she was 11. Brianna went on to play rugby for several years as a teenager, even becoming a part of the Quebec team on the national stage. As a young girl, Brianna was always drawn to physical sports. This was influenced by her father, who was a big martial arts fan and equally a practitioner. He convinced Brianna to try out a class in BJJ. This eventually led her switching from rugby to Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu when she went to college. Brianna St. Marie was just 19 years old when she took grappling seriously and began training in 2016. Chapter 2 the start of BJJ. When Brianna decided to switch from rugby to BJJ, she was fortunate to be surrounded by the right set of teachers, guiding her at the beginning of her career. Leonardo Sajoro, a renowned featherweight and multiple-time black belt IBJJF medalist, and Frederick Kumsatira were the two instructors under whom she kickstart her professional BJJ career. At the onset, Brianna had no intention of competing she initially saw her training as nothing more than a recreational activity, but her trainers wouldn't settle for less than the potential they saw in this youngster. Prominent among those who pushed her beyond her limits is Cascow. This instilled in her the desire to compete. Brianna would go on to compete for the first time, just after three months into her training. However, things didn't go too well in her first fight. Do you remember your first year? My, yeah, I do. For sure I do. What, what it was and how you felt leading into that. And I'd been doing jiu-jitsu for about three months. I come from like a rugby background. My coach had just told me like, okay, just like tackle them. You know, basically a double leg, right? And I just remember finishing my first fight. You know how it is a white belt, like you white knuckle everything. Um, and I finished the fight and I actually like went off to the side and I cried. because like I couldn't feel my hands anymore. And I was like, I can't fight again. I'm done. But then obviously like, you know, I like came to and then was like, okay, okay, let's do that again. At this point, Brianna never really saw a future in jiu-jitsu, but she stuck with it. Like love at first sight type of thing, or did it take a couple tournaments to get into it? Um, I mean, I definitely didn't think I was going to like pursue this like professionally. Yeah, that's the thing with jiu-jitsu tournaments. Like, I actually still feel the same amount of anxiety and nerves I felt on the first tournament. I feel them like today competing, embrace the process and like overcome that. Or even during the match is kind of like biggest feeling of like, I don't know, euphoria to like kind of conquer those feelings. Why am I doing this? Why am I doing this? This is horrible. Okay, this is the best thing ever. <laughs> With a growing desire to compete professionally in jiu-jitsu, Brianna began classes at the BTT Canada headquarters. Here, she was trained by both Sagioro and Mr. Fabio Holanda, who is generally regarded as one of the pioneers of Brazilian jiu-jitsu in Canada. 
blessed with these great coaches. She went through the ranks, gaining promotion through all her colored belts before eventually becoming a black belt. And since 2020, Brianna, who is still a member of BTT, has trained and coached at Mizu Studio. She also trained at 10th Planet Montreal and sometimes visits all local schools in the Montreal area. Chapter 3. Her Competitive Career After her initial reluctance to compete, Brianna, who was then only recently promoted to brown belt, defeated Liz Tracy in the finals to become combat jiu-jitsu flyweight champion in December 2020. In October 2021, she submitted Nikki Sullivan at Medusa 1 to become the bantamweight jiu-jitsu champion. She also went ahead to win both the IBJJF, Nogi World, and the American Nationals as a brown belt. She was promoted by BTT Canada's head coach, Fabio Hollanda, to a BJJ black belt on the 4th of December, 2021. This came after defeating Raquel Canudo, Natalie Hibero, and Jasmine Rocha en route to winning the ADCC East Coast Trials. St. Marie qualified for the ADCC World Championship by winning the second ADCC North American Trials. Her victory at the North American Trials was a record-breaking one. She became the first woman in ADCC history to win both the East and West Coast Trials in the same cycle. To achieve this feat, she defeated a total of 10 opponents in both trials. She emerged from the ADCC, a silver medalist after she defeated Elvira Karpinen and Bianca Basilia in the first round and semi-final respectively. She however lost to Fionn Davies. Begun. The fan favorite Fionn Davies is seconds away and there she is. Davies is the current BJJ world champion. St. Marie won the IBJJF Nogi Lightweight World title at the IBJJF World Championship in December 2022. She did this by pulling an impressive run of three submissions against three opponents. And took the title after submitting Nikki Sullivan by an arm triangle submission. Saint Marie. This was a sensational moment for Saint Marie as her efforts had no doubt paid well with this win. Yeah, I mean, like, I, I'm just so happy because I feel like I traveled everywhere. I fought as much as I could, and, like, now I'm getting to, you know, it was all, I was proud of my accomplishments at the colored belts, but it was all to be able to, like, do this at black belt. Um, and today feels like, you know, my first title at, at black belt, and I just couldn't be happier. Yeah. St. Marie competed in Polaris 23 in the women's under 66 kilogram. She won her opening match against Maggie Grandotti, but sadly, she lost in the second round to Amy Campo. Most recently, on April 29 and 30, 2023, she won two gold medals in the middleweight and the absolute division at the IBJJF Miami Open. Final Chapter An Inspiration Even though Brianna's rise to the top has been quick, it hasn't been without its challenges. St. Marie has always talked about how the weight divisions for male athletes differ from those of females at the ADCC Championships. Male competitors have five weight divisions with 16 grapplers each, while female competitors only have two weight divisions with eight grapplers in each. She admitted that in times past, she has had to shed weight. She didn't necessarily feel like losing to be able to compete. I've seen some, some comments where they've, they've mentioned that there should be another division for women. I think they also need to, like, honestly, I would say two more weight classes would be optimal, right? Because like, I think that already there's less opportunity for women. Um, and then I think there's even less opportunity for like uh, heavier women. A lot of events, like in, even in, in mixed martial arts, have only weight classes up to like 125 pounds or 135 pounds. Well, like, what if you're walking around at like 170, you know? Or let's say if you look at ADCC, like kind of like a bit like my situation, but at least I'm able to cut that weight. But let's say someone who walks around at like 150, I think they're moving in the right direction. You're, you're hoping for a 16 woman bracket instead of just eight. Ideally, you know, we have like four to five weight classes with 16 women a pop. We'll see what, what, what we get as the years go on there. Yeah. St. Marie believes it's time for a change in order to give female grapplers more opportunities. 
Besides gender advocacy, Saint Marie had been hopeful her achievements will have an impact back home in Quebec, where jiu-jitsu competitions were illegal, and thankfully, the ban is no longer in force. After her silver medal at the ADCC 2022 finals, Brianna received a congratulatory letter from the mayor of her native city, Montreal. A letter from a mayor congratulating her for achievements in a sport that was at the time illegal in her city. She had initially worried that new athletes were the worst affected by the ban on jiu-jitsu because they had to travel out of the province to stand any chance of competing, a situation that was both stressful and expensive. She, however, remained optimistic that her success and those of other Canadian-born grapplers like Ethan Krellenston and Piaia Olivier Leclaya was going to draw attention to the immense potential that exists in Quebec when it comes to Brazilian jiu-jitsu. Thankfully, the ban was lifted not long ago in the beginning of 2023, allowing local competitions to be once again organized in the province. Saint Marie isn't only an inspiration to other women, she has become a voice of young Brazilian jiu-jitsu athletes in the province of Quebec. While she's still relatively new to the scene, there is so much this exciting talent could achieve.